Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. What I would like to show you is how to add custom CSS styles to categories in a Moodle theme. What does this actually mean? In Moodle, there are different categories for different courses. So let's have a look at what that means in Moodle. If we go to our courses and categories, I have a miscellaneous category, an admin category and or admin courses category and a guitar courses category. As I mouse over each one of these, have a look down the bottom left and you'll see the category ID is 1 for miscellaneous, category ID is 2 for admin courses, and 3 for guitar courses. And we're going to use these category IDs to help apply styles to our pages. Because what we want to do is for every course that belongs to the guitar course, or guitar courses, we want them to have their own heading 3, their own colour for heading 3. If we have any courses that belong to the admin course category, we want them to have their own style or their own colour. Now this seems fairly simple just to begin with, but imagine if, if you decide that for all courses in category 3, you want to have a different background colour, a background image, just for courses in category 3. In category 2 you want to have something different. You can do this, you can apply them as separate bits of information. How do we know where we apply this? So let's have a look at this course, Demo Course 3. And if we right click and inspect over here on the right, you can see in body we have a class. And inside that class you'll see category 3. And this category 3 is applied uh, because this course belongs to category 3. So category 3 is in our body class. So we know that we can make use of that class. If we go to our other course and have a look here, this is the uh, category admin courses. You will see here that we have category dash two is a class for this page. So we can now differentiate by using classes which category page we're looking at or which category course we're looking at so we know where to apply a custom CSS. Let's go back to our admin page uh, back here. And in admin, if we go to appearances and themes and to our theme that we're using, in this case, I'm using the boost theme, advanced settings, this is where we're going to apply or add the CSS. In this case, it's SCSS, which is like a compiled or more advanced CSS. And that lets us do more than just add basic CSS. We can add loops and all sorts of other little interesting things that we can use. So we're going to look at that in a minute. But before we do that, let's go back to our default CSS. And you can see here that we have uh, a style of uh, dot category dash one. So this is a class category dash one, heading one, and we're going to color it red. What we could do is we could copy that CSS and we could add that in here and so that would mean that for all category one class pages our heading one is going to be red then we can do dot uh, category one again so we can pretty much copy that over category two and call it blue and we could work our way through and for every category we could decide what color uh, is going to be used. That is a bit of a process and can become overly complex and end up with a lot of CSS in there. So there is a way to simplify that, simplify how we do this. So instead of applying each category one at a time, we can go back here and create a little array of colors. So our category primary color. So that color there which is what we're going to apply in our CSS is color one. This is color two, this is color three. And we're going to apply that to category one, category two, category three. Then we also have a secondary category color. This will be applied to category one, category two, category three. So what we're doing is creating a small collection of category colors. And we're going to apply them using a loop. This little loop here, for I from 1 to 3, so we're talking about our categories 1 to 3. 
we're then setting a class and dynamically uh, when this when this page is viewed it will dynamically generate this into category number one then duplicate it category number two category number three so for our page content inside this category just here we're going to apply the color that belongs to whatever the category number is so if this is if dollar i is number one then we're going to apply from this little list here color number one so it will grab color number one, drop it in here. It will apply a margin of 20, uh, margin top of 20, margin bottom of 20. We can change that to whatever we like. So let's just go save changes. And now let's have a look at our demo course number three. And we'll just get this, oh, that can stay there. We can refresh the page. And you'll see as we already had there, heading one is that color there. That's heading three, sorry, is teal. Heading four hasn't changed because we haven't applied any colors to it. This is in course category number three. Course category number two has this pinky red color. And again, this is category number two, this one. Heading four hasn't been changed at all. So there are two pages. Let's go back to editing and edit our CSS. And we'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can see a bit more. Here we go. We're going to take this little page content H3 and duplicate it below. Change it to heading 4. And instead of using category primary, uh, category secondary, we're going to use category primary in here. So this will change the colors. So heading 3, we'll use these colors. Heading 4. We'll use category secondary, which is these colors. So our colors for heading three and four should now all change for each category. So let's hit save. Jump back to our demo course. You can see we've got teal and black for heading three and four. Let's reload those. You'll see now that we've swapped teal over to heading four instead because we swapped those two over. And we've now got a purple heading three and a teal heading four. This is for category number three. If we switch over to category number two and reload the page, that color should swap over. There we go. So heading three is now orange, heading four is that pinky red. And that means any course that we now apply where we add to category two, we'll have heading three and heading four of those colors automatically because we've applied that to the style for the whole course. We can go back to our CSS and we could add other things to it as well. So we could, below all our heading threes, we could put in a border bottom 1px solid and we could make it the same color if we like. So we copy all of this across. Just like that. So that will mean we're adding a border at the bottom, only one pixel solid, and we're applying the primary category as the color for that bottom border. So let's hit save, and this is for heading three, remember? And this is applied on both categories. Because it's in a loop, it's applied to both. So let's go back to let's go back to our course. Reload our course. And here we have a line underneath. So that's our border bottom at the same color. So heading three, so every heading three on every page for all category three courses, we'll have that. And if we go and look at our category two courses, you can see orange heading three underline. The one big advantage is that you can change the category colors and you can change the category styles applied to a category as a global category change, all from uh, your course template CSS and it will change for every course that belongs to that category it will change in one go. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Uh, if you'd like some more information jump along to the ricochet.com.au site and have a look at how to add custom CSS styles to categories in Moodle themes. I hope that's been helpful. I'll talk to you soon.